So back to winning ways and scoring ways as well. Wolves nil, Brighton. Uh, well, Wolves Brighton nil, Wolves one. Almost messed that up. And uh, a pretty decent result. I think overall we played okay. I think the first 20, 25 minutes we were a little bit under the cosh, but then after that we kind of built the momentum back up. Uh, really disappointed to see Juan get injured. Obviously, with the squad size as it is already, another injury really isn't great. But Adama did really well when he came on and caused Brighton all sorts of problems. Yet again, a couple of poor finishes uh, from the other wingers kind of let him down, which was the story of, the, of his season last time out. Uh, so disappointing for him. I thought defensively again, superb. I feel so so confident in uh, confident in this defence. Uh, we've, I, th I think it's probably fair to say it's the best defence we've had since we've actually got promoted, which is saying something because the first two seasons we were very very solid. But I just don't think there's too many weaknesses. I mean, Connor Cody's playing in the form of his life. Uh, Max Kilman and Saïs have really improved, and Samedo and Eight Nori get more more solid every week. Of course, Marcel came in for this one, and he did a job as well. Uh, so hopefully, Eight Nori's not out for too long. But yeah, it's it's one of those where we're solid at the back, and we just nick the goal, and a beautiful goal it was as well. Ruben Neves, who him and Matinho in midfield, by the way, had another superb game. Brilliant pass just to clip it over the defence and size with a, br a brilliant finish. Honestly, if any of our attackers could do that, we'd be on form. We'd probably be in the Champions League places. So, uh, yeah, there's certainly positives to take from this performance and to get back onto into winning ways as well, back up to eighth, uh, is, is a good thing, especially with the running that we've got for Christmas. We need those three points. Uh, Brighton, 11 without a win. So we really should have won the game and we did. And I think that's the difference. Obviously, last season we... Uh, bottled that 3-1 win so it makes a nice change to be able to be confident in the defence uh, but yeah still issues going forward just need to be a bit more clinical so Brighton nil Wolves won it's the day after the evening before um I thought we played relatively okay what do you think Georgia yeah I think defensively we were excellent um can't really fault our defence in the last few matches it's a world of difference from I think in the start of the season where we were making kind of sloppy defensive errors I've not really seen any of that I can't don't think you can fault codes uh Sice and Kilman Kilman Gaza where's the call up true um Neves excellent again um I'd agree um I feel like maybe in some regards we were almost a bit lucky to win the game because I mm -hmm. feel like Mwepu like missed like two pretty much open goals um, one from about like three yards out, which he should just be tapping into an empty net anyways. But Jose Sarr is probably happy to keep another clean sheet. I think he's probably in the discussion for Golden Glove now, um, most clean sheets in, in the season. So, um, and I saw like another stat the other day, which means like his like um, probably statistically the second best keeper in the league right now behind De Gea. So not so bad at all. I hope um, I hope Rayan is OK, because oh, yeah. um, although Marcel was actually all right, um, he's made of flip flops, so <laughs> managed to stay uninjured for like one game. Who knows how long it'll last? The, but yeah, exactly. So I hope he's back because he was looking great as well. Um, what do you think about Trinkal? Oh, I'm not impressed with him at all. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't take up the option to buy him. When is it? January. Uh, we can take Huang up in. You can, I think. I think we can take both up in January. But I just leave it to the end of the season, anyways, because I don't think I've seen anything from him to even warrant the twenty five million pound yeah. price tag that it has on him. But we need additions in January anyways, for sure. I think uh, Fabio did more when he came on. Yeah, he was only on for like two minute. minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then Trinkau did all game. But... I mean, I'll take scoring a goal because what well, we hadn't scored one in like 400 minutes anyway. So either way, three points is three points. Exactly. And now, well, COVID permitting, we'll see what we do against um, Chelsea on Sunday if uh, all games haven't been called off by then. But um, yeah. Hopefully at least another clean sheet. We take those. <laughs> Start off then, because that's a great win on the road. Another clean sheet, excellent defensive display. Against a good Brighton side. I know they had a few injuries, but so did we. And we uh, we suffered with a thin squad. But yeah, first of all, let's go to the uh, the back three. Well, back five, actually, because uh, they were brilliant for most of the game. I know that Brighton created a couple of chances, but mainly we nullified them. Um, I'm going to single out a few players defensively. I know Kilman's been excellent all year, but I'm not going to mention him. I'm going to mention Cody, Samedo, and Sace, Um because all three of those have had a lot of criticism over like sort of the last end of last year and the start of this, and I think all have really really improved lately. Um, Cody, I think he's got much more aggressive, and it's really suiting him. He seems to have really improved his game in that way, and uh, he's still got his leadership qualities which we need, and it's brilliant. Nelson's I think got much more. 
well, sort of much better defensively. Um, he seems positionally seems better. He knows when to pick him and choose his moments a bit more now, and it's really paying off for him. I think he's been really good the last few games. And Saiz, love him or hate him, he scores goals, doesn't he? The lad gets goals. And to be honest, defensively yesterday, I thought he was really, really good again. Um, he's always got a mistake in him, and that's his flaw. But when we're keeping clean sheets and he's doing well, let, let's stick with him. You can't sort of go against him, can you really? Uh, I think towards the end of the game, we sort of hung on, but defensively, we've done really well. They had a lot of the possession and we conceded that, and I think we, we sort of accepted the wood. And then we didn't really let them create a, a reasonable or sort of clear-cut chance, which against credit to the defence, thought brilliant again. If they're not creating chances, they're not going to score goals. Let them have the ball if they're not creating anything. Defensively, we were so solid, it was brilliant. Um, yeah, we just need to start scoring more ourselves, don't we? Let's be honest. But yeah, we got one last night, and that's good. First half was rubbish. Let's be honest. Um, shame for Wang to get injured. But Trier had come on and done really well. Uh, second half, we, we really sort of took the ball by the horns, I think, at the start. And we really had some good attacking play. And we should have scored quite a few more goals. Should have been 4-0. Easy. Um, I think we've got to start taking those chances when they come up, haven't we? And that's that's a big flaw for us at the moment. He's not scoring enough goals. And when you get chances like that, you've got to take them. Trier is going to be annoyed, isn't he? He played really well. but And people are going to go on about his goals and assists again. And, but he's laid chances on plates for people and they're not taking them. And then people will point at Traore. I think if he'd missed some of them chances, he'd have been chased back down the M25 with a pitch fought by some people. But I think a good performance from him again. And it's nice to see him stepping up and being a team player today because that's what he was. Lay people in when he could, held the ball when he had to and turned and run really well. Uh, yeah, got to start taking those chances. Trinko floated in and out of the game again. I can tell he's magic. He's going to be really good, isn't he? But at the moment, he's not quite there. He floats in and out of the game, he gets caught sometimes, but he's learning the Premier League, he's young, give him a chance, I think he's going to be good. Um, but then is also another frustrating one, isn't he, because we know how good he is, but he's too inconsistent, and again, that's got to sort of improve in his game and start scoring a few more goals, and he's, he could be magic as well, we could have a really good attacking attacking force. Uh, good for Aitneri to get injured in the warm-up, I think he's been really good this year and really improving. He's only going to get better with games. I think Marcel done a good job in his deputy. I'm not his biggest fan, but he done well tonight. A bit of play acting at times, though, which I don't like. But yeah, and shameful hangers, I've already said. Paper thin squad again. We need to sort of make sure we get through the next few games without any injuries, suspensions, um, and go from there, really. A note on the goal because you never as wow. Just wow. I think he's the only player in our team who can play that ball. Delicate, dink, over the top, with the vision just to see that pass. And then saves in his weak foot. Put it in the bottom corner, showing the strikers how it's done. We take it, move on. Let's try and get another clean sheet against Chelsea. It's going to be a tougher ask. And again, try and get to January and try and get a few additions and, and sort of fill the squad back out and have some options.